take just a few moments and talk about what an early college is. An early college high school, we have a charge here. And our charge here is to provide first generation minority students. And what does that mean, first generation? Who, students whose parents do not have a college um, degree. So our charge here is to provide first generation minority uh, students an opportunity to complete high school and earn up to 60 college credit hours at the same time. Well, this is quite a building that you're in. And to say that is, it is impressive, well, certainly that's true, but that's just not enough. Wait till you see it. You have to use superlatives to describe this building. Superlatives in every way because it is, it's, 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 it is the culmination of the work of students, parents, teachers, the uh, staff, the principal, community people, and the board member came and all of us gave ideas and the architects and, and their leader, uh, project leader, put everything they could to make this school what we wanted it to be. You will see that this school is, it's inspirational. It's motivational. There are places where you can meditate and be creative. It stirs up your creative juices. In other words, and I could think of so many ways to describe it, this school is a joy. <laughs> A joy. And you know what I say when I come here? I say at the Kathleen Joy Gillum Collegiate Academy, there is joy in teaching and learning. And the administration of the school district, I really want to also express many thanks to Ms. Gillum and her family for all the hard work, the dedication, and for being a warrior in education for our children in Dallas ISD. Down through history, great leaders have had a rather happy combination of rare attributes. In the first place, they're intelligent and do their homework but equally as important, they are very able communicators. Kathleen Gillum has these in great abundance. Uh, if you've ever faced off with Miss Gillum, you know she is intelligent. In fact, she's got an overabundance of gray matter. And the more important part, I guess, is that when there's a meeting and she has a responsibility, she was always there. She was there early and stayed late. In addition to that, of course, she was always prepared. Prepared to make sure that each child got the best that we had to offer. Through the perseverance of Mrs. Gillum, the South Dallas Learning Centers were organized in 1984. The students who were mistreated, miseducated, and segregated in North Dallas were enrolled in learning centers in South Dallas where they were able to excel. In 1997, after serving Dallas school children for 23 years, Mrs. Gillum left the school board, but continued to fight for the highest quality of education Inclusion, political rights, and justice. Mrs. Gillum's journey from president of the colored PTA in a segregated society under Jim Crow laws to president of the Dallas School Board is today having this incomparable Institute of Learning named for her. This is indeed remarkable. This is an honor she deserves. It is imperative that the students of Texas know the struggles and accomplishments of this great lady. Kathleen, thank you for allowing me to be part of this program. And thank you, everybody. I'm going to talk to you about a time <clears throat> when Kathleen was not a civil rights leader. 
when Kathleen didn't have time to be our friend. When Kathleen was not passionate only about the schools in her district. I want to tell you about the time when Kathleen was the president of our board. At that time, Kathleen became the leader of all the children and parents of our city. She went to the schools in North Dallas and she went there in style. Kathleen was selected as one of the best dressed women in Dallas. And she advocated for those white children and she listened to those white mothers and fathers. And she worked hard for all the children in Dallas. The boys and girls, the young men and women who are students in this school are indeed fortunate to come to a school named for such an outstanding person. And I am particularly fortunate to have Kathleen as my friend. Thank you. Kathleen Joy Gillum is my heroine. Ms. Gillum embodies courage, vision, leadership, and persistence. When others said no, she said yes. When others asked why, she answered why not. When some wanted to deny her people equal rights and equal access, she fought. She insisted that educational opportunity be offered to all students. All, all students, students, regardless of color or social economic status. This is why, this is why, this is why, we honor Kathleen Joy Gilliam. The Kathleen Joy Gilliam Collegiate Academy stands for, it stands for excellence, it stands for accountability, it stands for promise, and equal educational opportunity for all. We are the legacy of her courage. We are the fruits of her vision. We are the heritage of her leadership. We are Kathleen Joy Gilliam Collegiate Academy. And we are proud, full of promise, and positive about the future. Ms. Gilliam, we commit to keep your legacy alive and pass it down to future classes. We, we promise we will make you, our parents, our community, and our teachers proud. For we are Kathleen Joy Gilliam Collegiate Academy. Today, and it's no doubt that I am very excited. My family is very excited, and I just appreciate the effort that each of you made to get here today. This is quite an experience for me. And as I look look out over the crowd and look at these faces of the board members that I worked with down through the years, and superintendents. I can only say thank you for what you contributed to whatever success I may have. A truly collegiate atmosphere. You'll see that everywhere you go uh, from the lecture hall. Uh, you're going to see some neat things about this. Behind me is an amphitheater. There's an operable wall on the other side of these curtains where we can close this room off, open the outside wall up. People can sit in the amphitheater and see a production in the outdoors. So it's just got a lot of really, really neat things. Uh, in the commons area outside, you're going to see some interesting things. Some large uh, rear screen projection devices. Uh, they're going to be spectacular. You'll find that whole area is designed for collaborative learning, uh, meditation. I believe Ms. Ranger spoke something about that. It's where kids can study together. They can learn together. They can share ideas. And so the whole school has been designed like that. One of the things that I did early on as president uh, in the creation of this initiative was to pursue a scholarship opportunity for each of the students who graduate from this early college high school and, and who selects the University of North Texas at Dallas <laughs> as their college of choice. And I stand before you today to, Gail, renew my pledge that each of your graduating students who chooses the University of North Texas at Dallas, we will pay full tuition and fees for those students to attend the University of North Texas at Dallas.